one part in to fix the Z, bro. I somehow am like a week after almost wrecking my car and I still have had nobody know besides the people I want and probably a little bit of word of mouth, you know what I mean? And I've got pictures of the Z I am gonna show y'all in this video so y'all can see. So it's got my front bumper all the way off as you can see right here. There's the OG ZL1 bumper off of the car. And then we got the bumper and everything exposed in that. Somehow, boys, I do not know how. I did not mess up the hood. Barely did any damage. Didn't even mess up the front, like, little main, you know, frame of the car. Just barely, barely got anything there. I didn't even get the door, bro, or scratch down the whole side of the road. I don't know if y'all didn't go watch the video. I got the video of everything, but that's literally the damage right there. Front bumper, side panel, a new wheel, and all the stuff that you could see. But I needed this right here because y'all did know I was leaking out. That's why I couldn't start and drive the Z when we were trying to get it on a tow truck. So whenever I hit that, I somehow hit an auxiliary pump thing or something, something to do with the cooling system. I could be wrong, but it caused it to leak out and cool the car down. And an OEM, one of those alone was like 500 bucks. And you could buy a whole upgraded cooling system for the ZL1 for pretty much the same price. So I'm about to go over a list right here because I finally got a list after like now. I don't know what day of the week. It was like a Wednesday of last week. Almost a full seven days. My car is apart. I got a list of what I got to get ordered because honestly, the car barely got any damage, bro. So just buying new parts and getting them painted. I'm not gonna lose on my car. Y'all know the whole ordeal, you know what I'm saying? Cleat bumper with splitter and dive planes and insert support for the front bumper. So I guess you know the ZL1 front bumper, the Winnow Lees that have the dive planes, all of the different grills. It's almost a similar bumper, but different grill inserts, bro. Apparently they sell all that like on its own. So I guess the bumper is very similar and all the separate little pieces, well on the one LE everything is like an add-on and it's a performance pack and they just are taxing. Bracket for core support to fender and bumper. Whatever that is. Ox radiator bracket. I broke the one on the passenger side. That's why it was leaking. That's why I couldn't start it because the car would blow up. And just to fix that one little part of OEM, it was like 400 bucks. If you spend 500, you can get a whole upgraded system, gain a little bit of horsepower. So technically, your boy just wanted to go faster, so I decided to crash the whole wheel. Complete passenger wheel liner, passenger fender, as you can see, that's smashed. Passenger front, rear, lower control arm. That's why my wheel kind of looks like Lightning McQueen. Splash shield, passenger side wheel, which I already have a new wheel on the way. So I got a new apex wheel on the way. I got that core support and I got a 160 thermostat coming to make the car run a little bit more cooler because if the car runs cooler, you make more power. I've never really wrecked a car before and been on YouTube. So I'm kind of taking y'all through what I'm doing, what I'm thinking about. It's been kind of, I don't know, bro. I've been locked in the crib for the last week and really this car is, that's like the whole reason for the YouTube. That's the whole reason for working hard is to afford these things that just kind of keep me going. So. I'm sorry boys, I haven't been posting as much, but once y'all see the video of Reckon and everything, y'all kind of understand because y'all boys are a little behind, so like I'm really ahead of time for y'all and y'all boys are behind me and y'all kind of see like a couple weeks behind. That's just so I can go pump out as much content and I guess I've been doing it right because like I got a video uploaded today at the time, which is a Monday and... This video's up and then I got like maybe two more videos until y'all actually see the wreck at time of recording this video. And it kind of helps me stay ahead and during finding parts for my car and figuring out who's going to fix it, paint it, and all that. Let me know down below, um, since I am going to have to be repainting my car, do y'all think I should wrap it and leave the parts unpainted? and Or should I just paint it and then, you know, do all that? But hopefully my energy does pick up more along this progress, bro. Um, just been in a weird situation, bro. I wrecked my dream car with my homie and going through a lot of that and, um, realizing that I'm lucky to be here and I went back and saw the spot. I might take y'all boys to the spot that me and homie wrecked at. Uh, y'all can see it more in the daylight, understand, because y'all probably still like, you bro, bought it out. I really did bought out, but I'm glad nobody actually got hurt and we're still here and it's a memory we're going to share. And the cars are replaceable, but I'm not going to give up on y'all. That's the whole reason for this YouTube channel. 
God's not going to give us something we cannot conquer, bro. So we're going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep y'all through this. I'm going to update y'all as this video goes. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Appreciate all my new viewers to the channel. 10K on the way. I appreciate everybody. Uh, for real. I'm going to update y'all as another part comes in. This is all we got so far. Nothing crazy, bro. This is like day update. I don't even know on days after I've wrecked my car. This is like the... Uh, maybe a full week after I wrecked my car, bro. We finally got two parts in. I showed y'all yesterday that I had one part come in. So this is, I'm going to show y'all all again, even though like it's still the same video. But it's a new day. We finally got two parts. The coolant thing to like put coolant in the car. Some sort of tool. I don't even know. Apparently you're going to need that. Now, I've got my second part that has came in. I've got a 160 thermostat. This thing looks like a little umbilical cord, like alien UFO probe. I don't know. And hopefully today maybe will be the day that I get like an actual quote from um, the shop on how much it's going to cost me to fix my car. Like the unfortunality is like I did not have to wreck my car to figure out and come up with all these plans. So I'm really spending like extra money for no reason. But it's gotten me to the point where I've got to just make decisions that I can either grow or go back to and either way i'm gonna grow because like i wrecked my car on video bro so like literally right there alone is already something i did not have to do to help grow my channel and what would be crazy is i hope i don't wreck my car and like nothing like hopefully at least youtube y'all pay back bro because y'all see this bro we gotta feed the cat we gotta make sure the family eats and she wants a new crib and she wants a lamb chop to ride in so Hopefully y'all do show love on that because at the time of like right now, I haven't even recorded the videos, edited the videos. So I'm just kind of recording the process because I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I just know we're going to keep going and that's all there is to do because I've got so many people just betting on me. So many people that have tuned in now, like it may not seem like a lot, 4,000 subs, but like for y'all, Bro, 4,000 subs is like two of my high schools I went to. So, like, imagine just two of your high schools. And, like, you're standing there looking at everybody and everybody's looking at you. It's a lot of people. So, I got a lot of people that are invested in me. I would waste a lot of people's times if I just stopped uploading. And I'm not going to let this, like, ruin the channel. Now, I don't know how long I am going to be without a car. So, hopefully I don't have to improvise too much. But I am going to do what I have to do to keep the videos rolling. So... I don't know. We're going to grow together, get through this together. Maybe this is what I needed to get to the next stage that I've just been trying to get to. Maybe I need to just come more myself. And that's what I'm going to have to rely on. It's just self-confidence, me and y'all's connection. And I don't know what's going to happen because I haven't really recorded a video since I've wrecked my car. Besides wrecking my car and this video y'all are watching now. And then I've got ideas for obviously coming up as... Once I can see my car and go see my car, because I still haven't seen my car since the night I wrecked it. It's been a week without seeing her, and that's hard, bro. Like, that's hard for me. You know, the cars are my happiness. Not saying, like, it's everything in life, but these car things, that's why I started the channel. That's what got me to this point. That's what's got me, like, here. You know what I'm saying? That's what's got, like, my whole life is just based around my camera, my car, and y'all, and my channel, and, like, one day I'm going to map all this out and I'm going to sit down and just talk to y'all and this is going to all make sense. But like everything, bro, everything that you see, like my bikes, my cars, my videos at work, literally everything in this crib is like just to be the most convenient. Like right now, bro, I got no, no work at work and I'm just close enough to go home and it not be an issue. And like people don't, I don't think people understand that. And like, I have a vision and it's, like, I'm just kind of, I get lost in how to get to it. You know what I mean? So that's like what I'm doing is I'm just vlogging, keeping y'all through this. If I got crazy minds, like, it's been hard, bro. I've been waking up a little unfortunate, like, a little upset, confused. You know, all the normal stuff that people do and they're just kind of lost. But, like, the visions I get, bro, of where I'm supposed to be, the ideas that I have, I know are just, like, not regular thoughts and visions and... Like the things I want in life aren't what normal people want and what the people around me want. So I know it's like tailored to me. This is like 
all what I want to make my life. And I'm going to make it happen, like, through this camera for y'all. Y'all are going to see it, bro. I don't know how we're going to get there, but we're going to get there. And as long as you pick up, pick up the camera and just keep recording, like, I'm just going to have to force myself into situations to grow. And this is one of them unfortunate things that I, I didn't have to wreck my car to understand how to grow. And maybe there's just a bigger picture and you just got to let it all trust out to God and got to put it all in God's hands and just... That's what I'm doing right now through this process. So I appreciate y'all just with my update video like this. Hopefully y'all won't be too mad and are like, bro, nobody wants to hear this. But yeah, still to this day, I've somehow managed to hide wrecking my car from everybody. Like people at work don't even know. Y'all don't know. I haven't posted on Instagram. I've just been making it work, bro. And eventually y'all are going to see the videos pop out. And hopefully it's by the time like I got my parts coming in, my car's kind of back together and I'm going to figure it out. But I do have another part coming up here later. I have my heat exchanger coming, so I'm going to update y'all as soon as that comes in. I'm doing an unboxing. And here is my heat exchanger. I just came up to work, so I'm going to give y'all a unboxing. Probably like, what is that, bro? That looks like parts to make a car go faster. This is supposed to make the car run a little bit cooler. Um, also, to replace the, one of the parts that broke. But an OEM part was just as much as upgrading the whole unit is. And right here, we got a sticker. So we're sticker certified. You know that's the most important thing. You're an L company if you don't ship stickers. So I think this is like, y'all bear with me. I don't know parts like that. But this might be like my main radiator, maybe. I'm not too sure. Now, I don't know if this is bigger than stock or not because I've never taken the front bumper off of a ZL1, but I've got a couple other things in here. We got disclaimers. It's two of the uh, like auxiliary little radiator thing. I'm gonna open this. I know y'all probably wanna see it anyway. I'm sure these are both the same. They have one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, more warnings flying off, but this is what this one looks like. So I'm gonna have one of these on the driver's side, passenger side, then this in the middle, bro. Kinda kinda looks like that up behind the car. And I smashed one of these. This is why it's all leaking. It's like my baby though, you know what I mean? It's like I just lost my kid and I'm just trying to figure out how to do this in a my own way and be more personable to y'all because that's probably what y'all wanna see is like my real life reaction. This is my real life reaction, bro. I done sat here, I've had a lot of time to think, a lot of time to be upset, but I'm, it's happened. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep pushing. We're going to get through it. Y'all going to see my progress through this. And y'all probably like talking about me yapping and whatnot. But the hardest part is really just to keep going and not give up, bro. But like if I gave up, or if I gave up, there would just be so many years wasted. So many people would be disappointed. So like when times get hard like this chat, just know it's going to be possible. Like if you may be going through the same thing, bro, because like it seems like everybody wrecked their car recently. I happen to be one of those people, but a lot of bad things have been happening around this time of year, and I'm still going to say 2024 is still going to be our year. I'm still going to go crazy for y'all, not going to disappoint. We're still vlogging, keeping y'all through the journey, through the ups and downs. I'm I'm a realistic person, and y'all are going to see when I'm happy, when I'm sad. I'm going to try to be more genuine, and like sometimes people get lost in creating content. I know especially me, like y'all watch your favorite YouTubers, and you want everything to like look how they got it and how they do it is how you should do it and it takes time to get to that point to what y'all see these YouTubers do bro it takes time it takes time to have the people around you that are locked in like you so your videos are going crazy as all the people you watch you have to be able to have a full day of being able to plan and be interesting and entertaining to the people on the internet but then there's like me bro I'm sitting in a bay at work just talking to y'all and talking to my camera. And it, I know it's not like what y'all probably want to see, but I'm a realistic person. I'm probably doing what a lot of y'all are doing, trying to make it in between jobs and use a job to make my dreams come true. So we're going to keep getting through it, bro. I know this video has been a whole lot of just your boy talking. Um, and I don't even really know at the time of posting my wreck video if it even went crazy or whatnot i may have just wrecked my car for like 100 views bro but it's a lot of things that could come out of this that wasn't gonna happen if i didn't wreck my car so 
I'm kind of like stepping back for a little bit. You've only seen your boy catch dubs, and that's probably why y'all maybe not have tapped in. Y'all are finally here because your boy took an L, and that's unfortunate, but it's unfortunate that's what it took for y'all to get here, but we're going to keep grinding. It's just me and y'all boys, and whoever supports your boy, just know I'm not going to give up, bro. I've been doing it for three years. We can do it for three more, bro, but hopefully, like, we don't do it for three more, like, sitting in here and doing it. I'm not going to lie, but. Hopefully we just wake up one day. It's just like, that's what sucks is YouTube is just waking up one day and your life could be changed, bro. And you never know. So it's kind of a mental game. It's all mental. I would be lying to y'all if I didn't say it was hard. Like this YouTube stuff is hard. It's free to do. And I'm putting a lot of money and time into something that you just don't even know when it's going to take off, when it's going to work, if it's going to work. But the only reciprocal between every successful person is they never gave up. So that's what I inhabited into my life. I'm not going to give up on y'all, so y'all don't give up on me. I'm going to grow. I'm going to get more comfy. I'm taking y'all places, bro. Like, I wrecked my car on camera for y'all boys. It can't get no more embarrassing than that. So I'm going to work on this. I'm going to take y'all everywhere. Like, this camera. I got this $800 lens for a reason, bro, and I'm sitting here vlogging. Like, I'm sitting here talking to y'all. So I don't even need my Zoom no more. I told y'all everything happens for a reason. I got this $800 lens for a reason that can't Zoom because, like, times like this bro i can't zoom in i have no reason to zoom in it's just me and y'all talking and real life thoughts so this may be an hour long video of just your boy not knowing like i don't know what's going to come after the next time i pick up my camera i don't know what i'm going to record bro i'm taking it day at a day at a time and y'all boys are going to see through one day i'm going to be sitting here sitting somewhere and it's just going to be hella svjs and lambos or mclarens or just something that genuinely i've just always wanted like, I know I talk to y'all boys all the time about things I want, and it's happening, and I planned my whole life around this camera stuff, so, like, I'm in too deep to quit, so I'm going to pick up the camera so I don't run up y'all's minutes of listening and talking. Like, minutes pass faster when I'm talking to y'all and showing y'all things than it does when you probably watch the video back. I don't know. Update of the lifetime, bro. I kind of look like a silly willy. Don't mind me and don't mind the hair. It's cold outside. But I'm finally going to look at the Z for the first time. That's why I got this burst of energy. Y'all are like, bro, how are you this excited? You just wrecked your car. This is my first time seeing my car in a week. And like I said, I love that tank. I'm going to set y'all up, though. I'm just going to keep these raw vlogs because I got to make all my money back somehow. I'm not going to lie. So this is, I'm going to put y'all on hour-long vlogs. This is what I got to do. It's like 30 degrees outside. I'm throwing the puffer on. But honestly, it's really fuck all of that excited shit. I'm not really going to be talking all pumped up and like, welcome back to the channel. Like, it's none of that no more. I'm just going to be me and myself. So y'all about to just, maybe me and my car flying off the road was the best that could happen to this channel. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. Let me step back so y'all can see the fit. Y'all know I did get this Montclair. This is the same Montclair that y'all saw in the video. But I really do love this thing. But... Yeah, enough of that. We gotta stay safe tonight, cause y'all do know my Ranger, bro. The tires are going pretty bald on that thing, so I need to put new tires on. Everything in life just hit me once, at once, bro. And y'all say shout out to Wardo. She loves me, but she just don't really know how to show it quite yet. I don't think. But everything hit me at once. Like I gotta put new tires on the Ranger. I gotta fix my car. I'm about to go look at my car now. Get my list. Order every single exact part i'm about to order every part for the zl1 y'all saw i did get my radiator thing in i got the little tools i got all that i just got to order a couple parts you know probably about like five six bands worth of parts and the car's gonna be fixed like nothing even happened i'm about to get down the road in the ranger gotta stay safe though so i gotta get new tires on bro i got to I got wire shown on that thing, so I'm gonna be not taking highways. I don't educate, or this is highly unacceptable for anybody to do. Don't drive on wires, but I'm in times of desperate measures, bro. I'm gonna take a water, and we're gonna get on the road, bro. I'm gonna grab my parts. I got my speed engineering box right there with all my parts. New LED side markers. No more white in the front, bro. That's gone. I'm just gonna end up using the the red LED ones like I got. Put those on. And take my radio and drop it off and get my list. Y'all are going to see the car all tore apart here in this video. So I'm about to go do that now. I'm going to take this fat box, 
to the car with all of my parts. You can see my radiator, my two auxiliator things. I got side markers in there in the white box. I've got my thermostat and hoses and whatnot. And yeah, Wardo, I'm gonna mess with you. I'm gonna be back. Don't run from me. Why are you why are you running man? Speed engineering box, cold start on the ranger. It squeaks, bro. Listen to this thing. No power or anything. Gotta turn the lights on. Usually it starts squeaking. I'm surprised it's not because how cold it is. Bro, it will squeak for like 20 minutes. It's one of these cars like you gotta leave in the parking lot running for like 10 minutes to let the oil circulate. It's one of those. So y'all are coming with me. A raw dog in the ranger and a raw vlog. Raw dog, raw vlog. And yeah, here's a Hellcat Durango for all the homies. Look at that big cat Durango. Let me know, do y'all like the Durangos better than the Trackhawks? I just feel like the Trackhawk just looks a whole lot better. I'm not gonna lie. I do need to pull up directions because I have to go back ways just so I don't blow up a tire and I don't need to be on the interstate. So, let me pull up my directions, bro. I think it added like double the amount of time just because I'm not going the interstate. But, it'll be all right. I gotta stay safe. Got to stay safe. Hold on, I'm in the wrong lane of course, bro. Always doing the freaking most. But now I'm on the road, I'm gonna pick up with y'all in just a moment. I'm on the way to see the Z for the first time. Let me buckle up so I don't fly. I'm in the Ranger, 23 minutes of a drive. I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys in 23 minutes. Yeah, to watch me. What is that, my damn horn? That thing doesn't even work. Yeah, the dog just flipped over. Because I got that bracket off here. Right. This is the bracket I was telling you. That broke on the yeah. other side? Well, it bolts so on the other here. one's not going to be written, though. It will be. I'm going to have to paint it. Oh, uh, yeah. It bolts on here and here. And it came out, and your fender and your bumper both bolted to it. That's what held the damn shit in place. And yeah. what the fuck? So this is, this didn't, what was leaking? Which ox? Yeah. That one right there. Yeah, it's fucked up. That was the one that was yeah. leaking. See, that's bent. Of. So how does that upgraded one, it looks the same, but it's. They're internal. internal. The rows, like that might only have two rows of where the water flows through. Yeah. That one might have three, might have four. Plus, they might be bigger of diameter inside. You know, but yeah, you fuck that. And my brake, I didn't put my brakes up or nothing. No scratches. Oh, the tire hit. Do what? The tire hit. Yeah. But it's nothing. That's not gonna be. It's, even it's not even hurt nothing. No, it was pulled the pinch mold over a little bit. Ain't hurt. And this didn't get fucked up at all. That's a little scratch. I'll be all right. Yeah, it's got one tiny, but that'll go away when we get finger on. And then <coughs> I you can blend that in. What all that? Oh, that'll be blended in. You look at the stuff. You and like this, the scratch on the mat shit right here. Like I got fucking yeah you you mean you can get that out and then I got fucking we ain't gonna talk about the, what you did with the damn hey can I get that shit fixed too <laughs> the little dents that's I don't know we'll see hey if you got a dent man can get that not gonna lie but yeah other that, that fuck, fuck up the, the control one the control one yep I already popped the little thing off of it right there off of it yeah. But yeah, I gotta take that off. Take that off, take the ball joint out. I wasn't gonna do it until you got me one. Until I got you, you one? Until you got me that piece. Oh, yeah. Put it on there. And I see, can, there's a screw left I gotta take out. I can lower my car, too. I don't know that shit. I you got. know your car's not even anyway, right? What? Look at the threads here, right? Yeah. Go look at those side. Someone's been fucking with it. Uh, who's taking it apart? Nobody. Oh, shit. Oh, it's been apart because it had a wrap on it. So, who, whoever done the front bumper? Yeah. We were put the front bumper back on. Yeah. Didn't uh, even clip none of this shit back in. It was just dangling. That's, I wonder if that's what my why my camera didn't work. Your front camera? Yeah. There's a front camera. I have that uh, PDR thing. Oh well, might have been. Because <coughs> I have PDR that was like the and uh, recording. What, what's the red and the white wire ran in through the car for? I don't know. It had something sticky up on the left side. It looks like they took gauges out, and it has a it had a it weird looked like they RTE had some, thing. It looked like they had some tied to the computer in the back. Yeah, I think this car used to have some stuff done to it. I think it did too. Because it has like RTE 73 or something like a sticker. 
you can see. That's the build, though. That's the build. You talking about under the hood, really? Not yeah. here. That's from Chevrolet. They put a random sticker on there. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to read that? No. You really don't? No. You talking about all this right here? Yeah. 73 RTE. Yeah. This is number 73 of 2020 or 2020. Uh-uh. That's the build. Yeah. It was a number 20. Yeah. But that, that little headlight, tool you bought. That headlight is good too. What yeah. happened? What cracked on the other one? That little tool you bought goes here. Uh-huh. It goes down in that to put pressure on that. I believe that. Man. So I can bleed the whole damn system. Huh. Yeah, the mounts. Right here, I'll show you. So they didn't get fucked up or anything? It's well, all good. They're not here now. You can't see them, but the mount here... Where, that, where it mounted to the bracket and went up here. Yeah. There's an ear here and there's an ear down here. It broke both of them off and pushed them out. But I got them. It doesn't even look as bad as it fucking costs. That's what's crazy. That bitch costs so much to have like just a fucking <coughs> well, You gotta bumper. think, that's still bent. Look at that one, how it's shaped. Yeah. And look at this one. It looks normal. Yeah, that one, because yeah. you ripped all this off of it. That's what I'm saying. I got to get this damn diffuser. I got to get that bracket. I got to get this piece here. That's what I'm saying. You don't realize it. Yeah. All no, this all is that missing. Costs a lot. Yeah. You got a screen back there. I mean, yeah. there's a bunch of shit. And I missed everything on the bottom. You got lucky. If you look what, down, the, uh, look right here. There's a fucking oil cooler facing the ground. Yeah. You didn't even touch it. I was like, what the fuck? That is I figured crazy. I was going to take it apart and find a mess. That would I'm suck. really surprised you didn't get the damn Dude, I barely, I'm telling you, I I'm barely. I'm surprised you didn't get here and up here. I'm really shocked. I don't know. You didn't hurt know. none of this. They'd have been telling you fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to fix that. Yeah. They'd have been putting shit on it didn't need. Yeah, that's crazy. But the shit works, though. It works. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> no, anything's like say, all the points you over here you ripped off. Like the shit that's here is going from over here. I'm, I'm gonna look at my other wheel and see if I fuck this one up. Or right, that one's off. You got that bitch up somewhere. Well, they put up. They put up. Cause like, I guess I don't, I don't know all the little random like. I, I mean, I got I shit all fucked up. I think up. you can get all that out. And I haven't even cleaned it, so like. You no, know, the inside's horrible. I open the door and it's like, what the. Oh fuck? yeah, the fucking windows were down. But yeah, there's random scratches well, I got all down. Apart. I'll put it back together right now. I had to get under the damn. Uh, no, it's not the headlights crack. It's all the mounting here. I'll weld them back on. Fuck it. If it works, huh? My buddy said they might be able to fix. I don't know if it was just tabs or is so it won't fog up. No, it's work. not gonna fog up. Yeah. It's just it was securing it. I can show you on this side right here. Yeah. <laughs> see a little. See this tab right here? Yeah. This tab it bolted to the fender. Yeah. It broke right there. Yeah. All right. Look down here. Uh -huh. See this tab right here? It broke out. It broke out the center part of it on yeah. the light. I'll just have to weld it all back together. That's what I'm saying. I, if I can get that <clears> fixed too, like if you don't want to mess with it. If you got it, why don't I just do it on the I'm saying, hey, I got to believe in you. I'm just trying to help out, brother. Right? You want to help me out? Get some fucking parts. I'm trying to get parts. That's why we're here for this list. Let me see your Corvette. What you got back here? Dead battery. Dead battery. Dead, dead. Just got it unstuck out of the yard. Yeah. No, I mean, go look at it. It's nasty. It was stuck stuff. Oh, what? Stuck in the yard? The truck was it. Where it rained. Oh, shit. Down. I didn't know you got the truck back, too. Huh? I didn't know you got the truck back, too. You didn't know what? You got your truck back. You see? I, I, I picked it up. It's just dirty. It's been sitting in the yard, and it got stuck in the yard. That's why you need a fucking four-door. This bitch is dirty. Huh? I said this bitch is dirty. Both of them. Catherine run all over that. I know. It's not worse than mine. At least it's moving. Dead battery? Dead battery? Probably a dead battery. They can't even go nowhere. Camaro's probably got dead battery in it. Hmm. What is it you and Red Camaro's fucking up? Dude, I, Camaro's are just shit. I can't believe it. Did that. Don't think much. It doesn't at all. I mean, there's some it's hardware in here I'll reuse and stuff. The fender line or being carpet can't just fall. Oh, yeah, that bitch is ripped. It tore it all to pieces. Yeah. I was about to say, we can fold that carpet back up in there. Maybe you ruined that, that shit. Yeah. Like I said, when you fuck it up, you fuck it up. But the only thing the I seen I could save was that. What, the other person? The left and right pieces of the upper bumper. They're not broke. I don't know. Whatever you think. <clears throat> this is just my man. You got a parts list. 
I know I'm gonna have to order that. Did you buy a high dollar camera for shit? No, this is my, um, I got this for Christmas. I got this part for Christmas and I bought a lens. Um, the lens almost. It's weird cause I did it, I'm about to be like three years into doing it from like the start. And then I didn't make my first dollar until like last year, August area. I made my first dollar. And then, so it took that long to get to that point. And then from August to the end of the year, I made 500 bucks. So like a hundred bucks a month, but it when was. You're gonna get to like ten thousand a week. I'm, it's going up. I just wrecked my car, so this video might be like <clears> there <throat> five hundred thousand views on a video. Will pay you like seven grand if you have good click through and watch duration. So I may be able to post that, get everybody to watch my video, make my whatever money back, <laughs> and I don't know. It's a slow progress, but people like the first ten thousands like takes forever. I'm at. I'm almost at 4,000 right now, but it, up until May of last year, I didn't even, well, March of last year, I had like eight or 900 March hit, and then from March of last year till now, I'm at- What are you talking about, subscribers? Yeah, I'm at 3,500, so it's went up like three grand almost, and- Do I need to subscribe, that, that'd be nice. You don't have to. It's subscribers, it's really just like people that watch the video and- I watched what? one and laughed my ass off the whole time. Like, these are a bunch of fucking idiots. These are a bunch of idiots. My, my stuff now is better. Before, I was weird, and I didn't really know how to talk, so I would talk of like, a lot of different people or what I'd watch or not know what to say. And then, like, now I've just been doing the shit. Yeah, I know. It's in my eyes. I got to get back. I told you I got these <coughs> tires on the Ranger. I'm about to become a cop now. It's fun, bro. Why, so you can help me? No, so I can follow and stalk you. My last video, we went to the parking garage. Is that the one you're talking about? I'd, I'm be chilling. I'm in the back. I got CJ with me. I, I usually am not doing anything. I get. Well, that one I got lucky. Bringing it back, I didn't have a tag on it. Motherfucker got behind me. Adios, bitch. I can't do that I'm out. Shit. Huh? I said I get scared. <laughs> but usually I don't do nothing, so I never have to worry about that shit. I'll teach you how to drive. Yeah, I was driving pretty well, dude. If you. Where I you went get off. that bitch back together and we'll. Uh, I'm ready to. We'll see take that. it out. I'll show you some shit. I'm gonna be faster than you. So, how the hell do you get to the pulley? With You have to take all that shit off to get to a pulley or no? I still gotta take more off due to the other heat exchanger. Do what? The bigger heat exchanger? So, where. If you put a you know, pulley you, you on. Know, you got the little one there and the little one there, right? Yeah. You see this one right here? Yeah, that's the big one. That's the big that's one. That's the main one. That's gotta come off. That's gotta come off. That's gotta come off. Yeah. Yeah, I always gotta come off. And then to do a pulley. Huh? To do a pulley. To do the is, pulley, you gotta take all that off and then some. Because so, I, I would highly recommend pinning the crank. It's Chevrolet. Pinning the crank, yeah. You pin the crank on the Hellcats, too. Yeah. Sorry to do. What it is? That one is. I don't know how to pin no crank. That's, That's lower. You gotta pin lower as an upper. I ain't done the upper yet. A bit. I've done a 10% lower. I'm hoping I don't. That's why I don't need to buy a headlight, because I wanna put headers on the bitch. And I've then a, I'll be up here and I'll put the headers on. I've got a 10% lower and a damn uh, 238 for that. I got I, a hell of a deal from bot. Mont. Mont had a deal at Christmas time. I got the lower, the upper, and the belt, and the tensioner, and the idler bracket. And I spent 550 bucks. That's insane. Yeah, where the dampener and the lower is normally 550. Yeah. So I want to put... The last one I fuck with. The Z? Yeah. I want to put headers on Because when I do mine. it, I'm putting... Uh, I'm gonna put a motor instead of heads on too. I'm gonna go ahead and do a 427 with the Frankenstein heads. A whole new motor? Oh, yeah. What are you gonna do with it? The the one I take out? Mm -hmm. Put it up and put it on there. You can put it in the Corvette. No, you think that's a 376 cubic inch motor. Yeah. I'm gonna do a four, 427. No, I mean, Ooh. it's a lot bigger. I'm gonna do a much bigger motor. It'll make six, 650 Just on, on the motor, motor alone. Yeah. And then with the two six on it, ported with the pulleys. E85 should make 14, bro. That's why I want to put headers and something on this so when people are seeing it go by, they get a video of it getting fixed and it's getting faster. So if they see this, I can use my excuse I'm of like you. I'm putting shit on there. I ain't bullshitting. Yeah, speed what? engineering headers yeah. are just as good I as the video. speed. They're made out of the same stuff. And they're a fucking quarter of the price. Yeah, 450 bucks. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I was about to get them shits if I'm not spending well, 20,000 on fixing them. I've already price. saved you 500 bucks. I know. Just on parts. Actually, I've saved you two thousand now. If we're not gonna do a headlight. Yeah, I don't need a headlight. Well, you do, but you don't. 
Not if it works the same. Oh, it works fine. It's just I got to put the it hell? back. Oh, you got a cat. Is oh. that your cat? Uh, kind of. I got a cat. I don't like it. Oh, That's I the know. outside guard, though. <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah, Dane. It runs all over Dane my Dane a mouse within a fucking half a mile, I bet. Probably not. She'll bring them all the way on the front porch. She'll kill them and bring them and give them to you as a gift. Oh, I got a cat. She don't fuck with shit, though. If it's a bug she crawl, does. she just looks at it. I got two mean-ass dogs in the house. Mm -hmm. Give y'all boys a whole walk around. I might be able to see with the light. I was letting y'all kind of hear what the whole plan is with ordering all the parts. This is my first time seeing the car since I've wrecked it. Y'all saw the get-go earlier, man. I got lucky. Didn't even mess up the main little situation right there, the main frame. Didn't even hit the main radiator. This is why I bought that new heat exchanger that I was talking about. This bit leaks all my cooling out, but we're gonna upgrade that. I got my new wheel on the way, got lucky, somehow didn't mess any of this up. And I'm gonna lower my car, bro, I didn't even know. I guess I got coilovers, I can lower my car, it's gonna go crazy. I just got really lucky, bro. Didn't even hit the hood, didn't even hit the door. Like you can see minor scratches down the side of the whip, but nothing that can't get fixed maybe your boy is gonna get his his dents pulled out of the z that would go absolutely crazy but you can see i got super lucky i just got to figure out if like i'm gonna wrap it or repaint it i might just repaint it just if the shop's there you can see this side i'm gonna have to put the take this wheel off get all the dirt taken out fix all the scratches down the side of it man got lucky but the z made it the z is still here and we're gonna be fixing it so it's kind of a project car hopefully i never see the z in this ever again this is not how you want to see her bro like she has a comrade keeping her safe that's crazy but we stayed alive this is my z like i hate to see her in this position but it is what it is we made it safe we're gonna get the z back better than ever i'm trying to take a couple videos for the car and you can see bro look at the old old bumper like i'm gonna hang this up because if y'all don't know y'all definitely don't know but i had an old camaro like a 2015 my first camaro and your boy wrecked it and i got the bumper off of it so now i got a bumper from every red camaro bro it's super goofy but i'm lucky to be here and i kept everybody alive and y'all just learn from my eyes don't try to record and drive or record drifting or your Z is going to end up looking like this. And I promise you, you don't want your Z looking like this, bro. Down bad on the side of the road. But the carbon still looks good. Not going to lie. She's going to come back better than ever. She's doing better than ever. She looks good as ever. But let me know if I should get headers and wrap it. She didn't even hit the jug. Crazy. Didn't even hit the jug, chat. Like, that's the broken side. I'm gonna try to get this other side, get another thumbnail. This is where I gotta make all my money back. Like, literally. Like, this is for all the people that are wondering where your boy's car has been. It's been right here. That's my thumbnail. Got the thumbnail, bro. Sad to see but we're gonna come back better than ever. It's my first time seeing it since I've wrecked, so I'm sorry this vlog's been all over the place. We're gonna get it fixed up soon. She's gonna be back on the road, and we're gonna get through it, chat. Hard times can't set you back, but just know if you can get through these. If you want, like, you wanna be great, bro. Y'all are talking about being great in life, and like, I'm just grateful to be here, and having ZL1 one Lee problems, bro, is better than having no problems or having like ranger problems even though my ranger is over there and she's got problems too but i'm just grateful at least i have the problems like i have the car i'm just be grateful i know it's a hard outlook and i'm really just saying that to keep y'all motivated through these moments and learn from me bro because i really am super upset about the situation i'm not gonna lie bro i crashed my dream car but i'm not gonna get anything from being all pissed off and quitting so we're gonna get through it. We're gonna bounce back. The ZL one's gonna go crazy. Let me know down below what colors if y'all wanna see me wrap the Z and order these parts and get them on the way. And then once the parts are in, y'all are gonna see the car again. Parts come in. I'm gonna keep y'all up to date. But let me know on if I should paint it or wrap it because it's probably gonna cost around the same. 
and I could have a one of one ZL1, one of these. So I was planning on getting another car and I could wrap them matching wraps or I don't know, y'all let me know. I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys in just a minute. I'm gonna get up out of here and get home, get these parts on order. And yeah, let me know what y'all think of the Z, bro. Your boy done crashed out. Go check out the other video and make sure y'all don't skip like, comment, subscribe because as you can see, my ZL1 is fucking gone, boys. Break, break, break the beats.